so we got everything off here um, they crazy enough replaced this manifold with a brand new manifold I gotta figure out what there's a little bit of uh, water in there I gotta figure out why where the water's coming from I think those are intake ports yeah so that's exhaust so a little bit of water in the intake ports. They might have left it open. Let me see if I can crawl up in here. Yeah. So we cleaned off the side of the block. Got everything exposed. And there is a massive crack on the side of this. I can't tell. There's been grind marks in here. It looks like. This was not us. I just went over this with a wire brush. And it almost looks like this is a previous weld on this block. And it looks like this is a big grind mark here. And maybe a weld mark right there. I can't quite tell. But anyways, this this time this freeze opened, the, opened up this block quite a bit. Let me see if I can get you in there. So we got a big massive crack. So, I am not going to um, weld cast iron. I've done it before. It's uh, it's not terrible. Um, it's got its own process, but I'm not going to do it in the boat with everything hooked up, carpet, and everything like that. Several times I've went through these things and uh, just JB welded everything. So that's his only option here, really. I mean, he could have someone weld it. It's not going to be any better, any worse, necessarily. You can see, I'm going to have to fix the freeze plugs. They started to push out a little bit. So I'll have to reset those, seal those back up. But uh, there's no pressure on a boat. What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? That was scary. That was really weird. I don't know what that sound was. Anyways, that was really odd. I wonder if that popped up on video. Something just went off here. There's no pressure on a boat block. It pulls the water in, water pump cycles it through the engine and right out. It's not like a cooling system on a, on a car where it builds up 10 or 15 pounds of pressure. So there's not, there's not gonna be any pressure here. So boats have a pretty good chance. One, and it's not going to be driven a whole lot. Um, you know, these boats are used a few times a year at most, from what I've seen. We'll go through, we'll maybe epoxy paint over it to try to help that a little bit more. Um, and uh, yeah, so this should work. I'll... Uh, I'll give you a video back. We're going to clean this up, gouge it out a little bit more, just like you would with the welder. Give a place for the JB weld to actually grip to, and we'll just slather the shit out of everything here with JB weld. Clean everything up, primer it back, put it together, and let it go again. So, dealt with a lot of cracks, no, probably none this bad. I've never ran across a crack this bad and uh, on, a, on a boat engine. They, a lot of them are cracked. So the, usually when they crack this bad, they'll crack the internal cylinder. So I got to see. See, there doesn't seem to be water there. That's like uh, evaporation. There's nothing at the bottom where water was sitting or coming through. So... But yeah, we'll JB weld it, start it up. I'll run it here at the house and uh, let the customer go test drive it at the lake and see what happens. Um, not a lot of options here. So we'll start that process. Let's see how it goes. Say I forgot to mention is if this thing leaks, so you got an endless supply of water. So it'll leak down here and get picked up by the bilge pump. So it's not the end of the world if it does leak. The only major thing is, is if it cracked any of the inside cylinders. 
but right now it just pours water out like crazy so yeah if it uh if we seal all this up and get it to where you know it just even barely drips i mean hopefully the goal is to seal it up really well but if it just barely leaks down in here we have to kick on the bilge pump every once in a while not a big deal so boats are are uh basically prime prime targets for patching these blocks by ghetto rigging them and and jb welding them so i'm sure there are tens of thousands of boats out there with jb weld on the side of the block i had to run in town go grocery shopping and get some jb weld we got the big bottles never bought the big bottles before but there it is we ground out the crack a little bit with the grinder there was already some grind marks in there that looks like it goes all the way through down there doesn't it and uh wiped everything down with brake clean and start mixing uh jb weld man this camera pulls up some stuff that i couldn't see with my eyes Start mixing up some JB Weld and we're gonna start gooping it on there. Let it dry tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Stuff dried pretty good. I just globbed it on there everywhere I could. Now I am pretty sure, you can see that crack behind there, I'm pretty sure that this would hold no problem. I don't think this is gonna have any issues. But, I've got a bunch of, uh, somewhere right here, I've got a bunch of JB Weld. JB Weld usually either goes bad or whatever gets lost while it's sitting. So I'm going to use a little bit more just to thicken it up. I'm going to go through with my sander. And just rough it up to give the new JB Weld a place to bond to. And then I'll cover up this crack a little bit more, let it dry for another 24 hours or something like that, and uh, come back and uh, paint it and start putting it together. Another day has gone by. I did that second layer of JB Weld. Technically, you could go through here and sand it down and make it look pretty. I'm not going to sit here and breathe JB Weld dust. I have a can of uh, Raptor 2K which is a uh, epoxy, I don't know if they call it primer or paint, but I think it's a paint, a protective coating. So these cans are kind of cool. You uh, puncture a catalyst inside of it, shake them up, and uh, it is a very durable paint. So I got my uh, brass freeze plugs in if you're ever working on a boat. Pretty much always use brass freeze plugs and then I I've always used uh, they used to call this stuff Indian head but everyone's politically correct now so it's called a uh, gasket shellac so I usually clean out the hole put some in the hole put some on the outside of the freeze plug and uh, let's see how this stuff turns out Ooh, what the hell maybe not what I thought that is a bed liner of some sort. I thought this was paint. Interesting. Okay, good enough. So I guess we're going to... Hopefully this stuff is high temp. Let's see what it says. Temperatures do not expose to heat stores. So that's for the can. Well, we're going to see what it does. So what I have... It actually looks kind of decent. go through and coat this to kind of get rid of all the rust spots maybe seal everything up a little bit more so there you go that is what she's going to look like I was pretty sure. So yeah, they do have a, uh, this isn't what I thought it was. They do have a, uh, 
um, primer, an epoxy primer. So that would have been the stuff to use, but this will work. Hopefully it holds up to heat. I've used Raptor a lot in my previous videos. You can, uh, I lined quite a bit of stuff, so. The pot life is approximately 60 minutes. Anyways, so good enough. We'll see if this thing seals and, uh, yeah, that's about everything. I got to get the get the gaskets in, clean the gasket surface back, uh, put my manifold back on, put a battery in it, get it all running, and deliver it back to the customer. I've used this, and I know this is kind of ghetto rig and everything like that, but people let their blocks freeze. Everyone owns these cheap, ugly boats, and they're not going to pay a whole bunch to fix, you know, change the block or whatever. This thing's already been welded probably, as you can see in the previous videos, and then it's just, they let it crack again. So why spend a bunch of time and money on on uh, trying to do crazy repairs? Like I said, I probably mentioned in previous videos, if these things leak, for one, there's no pressure on the cooling system or very, very, very low pressure. Sucks water from the lake, gets rid of it. For two, if it leaks, you just run your bilge pump. It's not that big of a deal if, if these blocks leak. It's not like you're going to run out of water unless, I guess, you're driving on Lake Mead. But, um, yeah, so that's the repair. I am positive. I've done this before. This will work. Um, and this probably will not leak a single drop. This is probably fine. So, um, that's about everything. We still got to detail the boat for the customer. So we're going to go through, clean everything up once the engine's all together and uh, give it back to the customer. So thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video.